Hello everyone, I'm Highway Trooper and today I'm going to be walking you through how to install ELS vehicles. You know, that's no lie. So, rock steady. so the first thing you want to do is open up your internet, you want to search up LSPDFR, you're going to want to click on the first one, the LSPDFR homepage, and wait for that to load, then what you want to do is considering you already have LSPDFR installed what you're going to want to do is go on to downloads wait for this to load up here and this will give you all the currently trending ones by here and here, this is all currently trending files not just vehicles if you want to just specifically get vehicles click on vehicle models at the top by here and this will give you all the current vehicle models. You can sort it by here. You can sort it by most downloaded. You can also filter it to different light bars. You can also change ELS compatibility. And you can also have model lock, vehicle type, ETC. So what I'm going to install is I'm going to install a pack I've recently installed. So if you want to check what we've recently installed, as long as you're logged in, as you can see I'm logged in at the top here. What we're going to want to do is go up here and click on download history. This will bring up all your recent downloads. I'm going to install ELS Los Santos Police Department pack. I'll leave a link down to this below. So if you want to install this, there'll be a link down below for you. So what you're going to want to do is, first of all, you're going to need OpenIV. So what you're going to do... Oh, sorry. What you want to do is you want to click on the up thing here. You know how to look Internet Explorer. So it's open IV. Look at the first link here. And you want to click download now. This will install. I've already got it, so I'm not going to install it. This will install. All you're going to have to do is find your GTA 5 file directory, which will be as so. So you want to go down. If you want to find your local disk, you want to find your disk where it's on either C or D. For me it's C, so I'm going to go to C, Program Files 86, then you're going to go Steam, then what you want to do is Steam Apps, then Common, and then you'll have all your games here. That's all you want to do is to set, that's all you're going to have to do is to set up your OpenIV, is find your main GTA thing. And obviously you're going to need your mods file, which I walked you through in the last video on how to install LSPDFR. So, getting back to the main part, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have your vehicle pack here and you're also now going to want to get ELS open so what I'm going to do is just make a new tab, search LSPDFR go on the LSPDFR homepage, the same thing as last time go on to downloads now go on to essential mods essential mods and as you can see, it'll be here, Emergency Lighting System, ELS. Now what I'm going to do is click Download This File. Oh, download This File. Agree and Download. Then what you want to install is ELS version 1.05.ra. Click Download. Wait for it to download. Now you want to click open. There you go, it's opened here. Now you want to go and do is click on installation files. Bring it in main directory, drag that over here. Type this back up. Grand Theft Auto, what you're going to do is all you're going to want to do is drag all of these into your GTA 5 main directory. Simple as that. So highlight them. Highlight them and drag now. There you go, you have now successfully installed ELS. So, close off that. Go back on to your Los Santos Police Department pack or whatever vehicle pack you're installing as long as it's ELS. Click download this file. Main file. Wait for it to install. Now it's installed, just click open, wait for it to download, 
quicker the internet speed, the quicker it will download, as I've said before. My internet is going quite slow today. My god, it's only 144 megabytes. But it doesn't seem to like installing off the internet for some reason. Normally it's like 100 megabytes. Right, almost done. So now what you're going to want to do is open up ELS LSPD Mega Pack and then drag that to the side. But open up your Open IV. Should open up now. There we go. Click on Windows. Also, starting up. There you go. Now what you're going to want to do is go on to Mods, Update, X64, DLC Packs. Then go down to the latest patch day. For you, it's probably going to be patch day 22, or it could change as it goes on, as you, when you're watching the video, it depends. Always install it to your latest patch day. Click on Double-click on Patch Day, DLC.RPF, X64, Levels, GTA 5, and Vehicles.RPF. Now you've got all the vehicles here currently in this patch day doesn't matter if police isn't here you can still install them here and they'll still come into your game it's the best way to install them always install into your latest patch day now go on to your mod go on to your models and now you have all your models here so what you want to do is go on to Tahoe all you're going to want to do is highlight these make sure you're in edit mode otherwise it won't let you drag them in click yes Oh, I forgot about that. What you're going to want to do is go on to Tools, ASI Manager. This should bring up all your tools. All you're going to want to do is install this and install that. There you go. You've now got all your tools. You're now ready to go. So highlight these, drag them in. Boom, you've now installed your first car. Now slip top Tahoe, highlight this, drag it in. There you go. Slick FBIU. Highlight that. Drag it in. FBIU. Police 3. Well, we've already got Police 3. Some of them will be the same. You can rename them, which I'm going to show you how to rename. So, right click, rename, and then just change it to Police 4. Or depending on whatever you want to name it. Police 4, Police 1, Police. No, just Police if it's not Police 1. Police 2. Police 3, Sheriff, Sheriff 2, FBI, FBI 1, Pranger, Police Old 1, Police Old 2. Those are all the ones you can rename it. So what you're going to do is rename all the files, including your XML file. Some will have it in the same as the vehicle files, but some will name the file ELS or XML. And then I'll have to have all of them in just one area. There you go. So now I'm going to drag this into my directory, like so. 18 charger, oh, 18 charger, highlight it, drag it in, back up, 14 charger, highlight it, drag it in. Now as you can see, if I am to double click on police 2, oh that's the one thing, if you double click on police 2 down here, on the fragment object. You can see that you successfully installed this. This has the Valo light bar, which is one of my favourite light bars. It's your personal opinion though. But now what you want to do is keep this open. Keep your internet open if you just clicked open, otherwise it'll close it all out. And close out with that. Right, now it's to install your ELS files. So go back. Go on to ELS and your main directory in your files. Pack default. And then you've got all of these here. What you want to do is go through these again. Tahoe, police3.xml, only drag the XML files in. Boom, there's one. Slick Tahoe, there's two. Slick FBIU, three. Four. 
five and six. And replace this because it's already got one here, but just make sure you replace it. Now you have successfully installed your first ELS vehicle pack to GTA 5 LSPDFR. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, vi uh, video. If this helped you out, make sure you drop a subscribe, make sure you drop a comment, and make sure you drop a like. Comment down below what video you'd like to see next, what you want me to help you on. I'm going to do some LSPDFR videos very soon. going to do some British, and I'm going to do some American. I'm also going to start up a series, like, a, like an American cop series, going to be more serious. But my other series are a bit more funny, a bit more fun. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope this, I hope you enjoyed this video. See ya.